<laughs> Not just the Mercy Watchers, but everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, Dr. Richard Ludwig, the University of St. Thomas, and I'm here today at the Napa Institute's annual conference in Napa, California. And I have the pleasure of, of talking with a good friend of ours, Father Dempsey. Father Dempsey, welcome. Thank you very much for having me here. I'm very proud to be here with you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm so excited. We're, we're friends, but you know, what I wanna do is, is give an opportunity for you to talk about what's, what's taking up your time these days, what you're working on, because I know you've always got something going. <laughs> well, since, since last year, uh, um, by the providence of God, I was chosen to be part of this amazing project that we call the Bible in a Year in wow. Spanish. It's the same, it's the podcast that got great success with Father Schmitz and also Jeff Cavins, mm -hmm. and right. it's promoted by Ascension Press. So because of that great success, they decided actually to create the Spanish version. Ah, but yeah. part of the discussion of the Spanish version is that cannot be a translation because it wouldn't adapt to right. the mindset, to the culture, to the sense of humor of the Hispanic now, now community. Now, why wouldn't it adapt? It, it would be very difficult, though. It would, it would be, it's always difficult. I mean, I know you that you love languages. <laughs> I love the way how I you love language. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it's so difficult, actually, to transmit the same idea when you change one language to another. For mm -hmm. example, I have friends, Italian friends, you know, when they come to visit, they hear this expression. Oh, it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> yes. And they, say, <laughs> <laughs> and they couldn't understand me, and I said, how can you translate, it's raining cats and dogs? What is the meaning of that? For them, it was impossible <laughs> They're to seeing compute. little animals. Yeah, <laughs> and even in Spanish, you say, it's raining cats and dogs. No, it doesn't make sense, no? Uh -huh. So we need to use other expressions. If I translate it literally, it's completely, the message is lost. Right. So can you imagine doing reflections about God, about your feelings, about the experience of life? Mm -hmm. You will lose 50 or 60%. So it has to be completely original. We follow the same kind of a calendar of readings, mm -hmm. but all the information is completely original. It's not a translation. So oh, I see. I'm fulfilling the role of Jeff Caving. So I do the introductions <laughs> of the, the historical periods of all the books of the Bible and then questions and answers. And uh -huh. Father Sergio, he's the one who does the daily podcast. I see. Right? So the, you set the table and then he, yeah. he serves the dinner. Yeah, we work very well <laughs> together. There's a great chemistry among us and, and the feedbacks on the social platforms and right. social media. They said that that is, and we have a great time. I well, mean, you know, and isn't, isn't that really a, a terrific model? I mean, you're doing what you feel called to do, but you're having a great time doing it. God blesses us absolutely. with that kind of work. Absolutely, absolutely. You see, uh, uh, something that is interesting in the past, right? Mm -hmm. To be a missionary, you needed to leave your hometown and to go to unknown lands. Mm -hmm. Now, we have this beautiful gift that can be also a curse, depends how you see it, <laughs> of the technology, right. of the mass media. Uh -huh. So I cannot believe that I, we are evangelizing mm -hmm. people from all over the world, just from, from one single studio, from yeah. one single room, right? right? right yeah. But we are doing it right here today. And, 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 and I'm so grateful with the University of St. Thomas because something that is beautiful at the University of St. Thomas that gave me the freedom to develop mm -hmm. you know, my potential that is not just only in the academic aspect, it's also in my ministry, in my vocation, as a person. I, and it's marvelous though, it's marvelous. I, I just love it. Well, and you're such a gift to us, our students, and, and really the world to bring this uh, Bible project and, and these other curricular projects to fruition. Well, right now, right now I'm working very hard with the two programs that we have at the University of St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. They are 100% in Spanish. They are graduate programs. One is for biblical theology and the other one is for pastoral theology. And right now we are promoting and expanding and trying to create some affiliations with universities in Mexico, UPAEP, uh -huh. from Puebla, but also with other universities in Madrid and Barcelona and Spain. The programs that we have, they are very unique because mm -hmm. All the instruction is given in Spanish, 100% in Spanish. Yeah. It's funny though, because we have students from many parts of the United States who speak mm -hmm. Spanish, but also from Latin America and even from Europe. For example, um, um, I was teaching uh, the first part of the summer, one course, and I have one student from Japan who is a priest, <laughs> <laughs> who is originally from Mexico, but, have, but he has been living like 10 years in Japan, so oh, he's yeah. actually doing missionary work there and he's one of our students. All the programs are tailored to educate in theology, but especially with the mindset of being an immigrant uh, who has to actually proclaim the faith 
in a in a culture that is different from the mother tongue. No, so, so it's a it's a contextually created curriculum very much specifically so. for those populations. Exactly. That's incredible. That is so terrific. Are there other things on the drawing board? I created already. I just finished. And it will be promoted starting August. The first core course in Spanish. It's called Faith, Reason, and Revelation in Spanish. So for those students, freshmen who are bilingual, and right. some of them, they feel more comfortable mm -hmm. speaking Spanish and English so they can take it. And the goal is to create the entire core curriculum bilingually. So at least we expand beyond yeah. the boundaries of Houston, Texas. Well, and, and you know, at the University of St. Thomas, and I'm telling you this, right? But <laughs> the majority of our undergraduate students are actually from Hispanic background. Absolutely. Right? So this is a natural thing. And, and when you look at the demographics of the American church and how it is, is being Hispanified, if you will call it that, yes. right? <laughs> it, it makes perfect sense that we would form leaders and those who will be uh, sort of in charge of the church as we move forward in a language that is in some ways easier, but also more appropriate culturally. Absolutely. I think that's so incredible. Absolutely, especially when you have to study theology or you have to do your ministry work or you have to do things that are very dear to you. There is nothing like the mother tongue. Thank you so much know. for being here today, being with us on the trips. Thanks and to for, you. God bless you for the work you're doing. You. <laughs> Thanks. And thank you.